All right, uh, we're going to talk about scope probe calibration uh, with the new Keysight HD3. It's a bit different than other oscilloscopes, and uh, it, it, it's interesting. So uh, I have two probes here. Uh, we'll start with this one. This one is the uh, Keysight uh, N2843A. It is a 500 megahertz probe, and it has the little uh, adjustment on the back, okay? So the way that you calibrate probes now is that you go to, uh, you go to, here's channel one. There's nothing on it right now, but that's okay. You click it and you can see uh, channel one, channel two, channel three, channel four. You can set the settings and stuff. If you hit probe, then it comes up and it says no probe detected, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, attach, attach the probe. And now it knows that a, a 10 to one probe was attached. And uh, now there's a, a checkbox here called probe check. And if I click probe check, it says connect your probe to the probe compensation port, okay? And that is uh, this thing right here. So you take your probe, this is the little square way that everybody knows about. And so you think, okay, we'll put this on here. And, and then it says, press okay. So we'll say, okay. And then it goes click, click, click. And it says, ah, probe check passed. So this probe is in calibration, okay? So let me, let me uh, maladjust the probe. Okay, I'll re reach in here. I'll try to maladjust it a bit. And then we'll do probe check. We'll say, okay. And I didn't maladjust it enough. So we'll maladjust it even more. Probe check. Ah, now it automatically changes the waveform. So we're looking at a rising edge at the right time scales and everything. And it says using the non-metallic tool, uh, adjust it so that's within calibration and then say okay again. So now you put the tool in and now you can you can do the calibration thing and you can say all right uh yeah that looks pretty good right there and then you say okay and then it says probe check passed. So it's 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 different. All right? So that's how you calibrate the uh 500 megahertz probe. All right? Now let's talk about this other probe that came with the instrument. This is, a, this is an option. This does not come with the instrument. You have to buy this separately. Um, this is a one gigahertz probe. <laughs> this is a very fancy, fancy and uh, comp uh, if you want to translate that into dollars, it means $1,100. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is an $1,100 scope probe, but it's a one gigahertz for picofarad scope probe. It's crazy. Um, and if you notice, there's no adjustments. There's no where to twiddle the knobs on this thing, right? Um, it looks like a normal scope probe. Um, it has a attachable uh, ground lead. It has a little ring here for a little spring. And then it also has the, the, the expensive guts is, is right here that screws into the base. So I imagine you can buy new ones of the, I, I, it's probably, <laughs> probably probably the same amount of money to buy the whole thing again. I don't know. Just just the way it's assembled. Uh, it looks it looks really really cool. All right, so we're going to slip this on here and slip this on here. All right. And then we will attach this uh, up to the scope. And um, we're getting a whole bunch of picked up noise because it's a fancy uh, high gain, not high gain, but you know, one gigahertz probe. I'll come up here again to the uh, thing. And now it says, um, we'll do a probe check. And it says, you've got a one gigahertz probe attached. It is the PP001A. That's, that's this probe. So somehow it figured it out, even though there's no USB connections to this thing, it's just it's just the uh, BNC connector. Somehow they interrogate this probe and figure out that it is what it is. And it also gives you a little message here. It says probe calibrated. What does that mean? Okay. 
So if you stick this thing on the uh, calibrator, uh, calibrator, um, did you see that that wasn't really on camera, was it? So I connected the probe up to the uh, probe compensation connection here, right? And then uh, there is a thing here that instead of check probe, it says calibrate probe. And we'll go ahead and click this button. It says uh, connect it to the test point and the ground. A good ground connection required, blah, 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 blah. And then press OK to, uh, to go. And uh, you'll see that it's starting to do a whole bunch of waveforms. And it will, this looks like a full scope calibration of other oscilloscopes that I have. When you press the cal oscilloscope button, it runs through all of these uh, offsets and gains and channels and it calibrates your oscilloscope, right? And that's built into this oscilloscope as well. But this has a probe calibration routine that just does the probe. And um, so if you start this up, and you, you see these repeating patterns, you think, oh, it's stuck in a loop and it's never coming out. And so you wait and you wait and you wait and say, well, it'll finally get it. And then you wait and you wait and you wait and say, oh, oh no, it'll, well, maybe it's broken. Maybe there's something wrong. Um, it takes six and a half minutes to calibrate this probe. Six and a half minutes for a probe calibration. But you end up with a passive probe, it's not active, it's a passive probe that's calibrated at one gigahertz. First I've ever seen. All right, there we go. <laughs> Six and a half minutes later, and now it says the probe is calibrated and we're ready to use it. Uh, so, yeah, um, pretty amazing. Let's close these. Let's see if we can't uh, can't see something. And there you go. It's uh, it's uh, nice and flat on the top. <laughs> So anyway, it's a bit strange. Uh, first one gigahertz probe I've seen and first weird probe calibrations that I've seen. So yeah, Keysight's doing, uh, doing it funny.